Good morning, sir. How are you? Right now you have it off, okay. That you did great job today, really. It was hard, it was a new game, and, and you followed all the rules. Okay? Thumbs up. I'll yeah, see you next time. Bye, sweetie. Take care. Yeah, I remember. I was here a few months ago. the main zone and she's closed and this is the other zone which is open but why why do we still have flow there this is closed why is there still flow unless this is your thermostat on or off right now yeah Circulator is circulating. Yeah, this is the so the one. end switch for this. Okay, let's see the other the other thermostat. All right, both well, thermostats are off. One's off the wall, one's all the way down. Let's see if the zone valve is stuck. Come on. Yep. See that? She was stuck in the open position closing the circuit yep. bad zone valve well oh, or she's gonna die shortly the are off now both are off and this one's still stuck closed oh she doesn't even want to go back now see she's stuck there she goes See? She's shot. So we'll change out the zone valve head. We'll redo some of the wiring here. It looks like crap. Throw some Wacos in there. Switch anywhere here? Yep. Quiet. All right, let's swap out this Taco Honeywell zone valve. Uh, you have a flat screwdriver? Oh, uh, you, got, you gave me one before. All right, so real quick. We have a screw there. You might wanna take a peek. One screw there and another one on the opposite side. On the earlier Honeywell zone valves, mm -hmm. if you took this out, the thing starts spraying out water. So you could tell the difference because there's a little nipple thing right there, sorry, right there, and there's another one right there. That's gonna hold the plate back from coming out and leaking water. So we're gonna unscrew this one, see? And now the other side. And then I can go over the end switch wiring and all the other good stuff. We use our friend, friendly Wagos. Okay. There you go. See that? Mm-hmm. And it's now she's stuck. She's now she's dead completely. As soon as I dislodged her from the actual the actuator to the arm that opens that ball and moves that around, look, she's shot, seized. The lever is bending. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she's ticking away. All right. So a clearer view. There's that screw. And the screw stays in there. It won't fall out on you. She comes manually, op uh, manually open. You want to keep that. It makes it easier to go on. Just like that. It snaps into place. A little wiggle on it. Tighten up your two screws. And then we can go over the wiring. The end switch wiring and 24 volt wiring. And we'll clean up this a little bit. Because the wire knots you really shouldn't reuse. So now that she's in, I'll... 
open up the manual hold, now she's closed. We'll take the cover, put the cover on. All right, now let's go over the wiring. Our red wires are the end switch. When the motor gets energized, it moves that lever and pushes in our little button, which is right there. See that little black little nipple right there? That's the end switch. By that lever being energized by the motor, it pushes in that button and closes the end switch. It's basically closing the, turning on the light which then turns on the boiler. And the reds all get tied in together. So, here's one set right there, and here's the other. So we need a Wago for three. Wago for three. Get these two in first. There's one. Get in there. There's two. And now let's make this look nice and neat. We have a little pencil. Do you have a pencil or a pen in the tool bag? Or something round and skinny? Oh, a screwdriver will work fine. Oh, yeah, there you go. Or alternatively. <laughs> now, what is this? Uh, quarter inch extension. Oh, cool. Let's just try to make them match. The other one looked nice. Might as well do the same one with this. One of the reasons why I hate zone valve wiring because it just looks like crap. But you work with what you got. Okay. So there's one end switch of two. And this is the next one. Which is right there. Nipix, huh? Nice. Wow, you spend money on your tools. Likey likey. Good tools, good investment. Not too short. Okay, much better. Another three wiggle. You go with the lever style, right? Yep. Right there. Yep. I guess I could use the pushing one, but I like these better. Yeah, this is a few few people sent to me this stuff. I love them. That's what I'm talking about. They're great. It looks more serviceable for the future. Okay, so that's the end switch. So when either one of those levers are closed, it turns the boiler on, like TT, which is XX. Roger. Now this is power. When the way the power circuit works is that 
we have 24 volts leaving a transformer, right? It goes to the thermostat. Leaving the thermostat would be W. Going to W would be one end of the, of the, the uh, motor. And leaving the other end of the motor goes to common on your transformer. So when you close that switch, on, the light switch, you know, which is what the, the thermostat does when there's a call for heat, it, motor, it powers the motor to open. And then hence, turn the boiler on with that end switch. And all the end switches are in parallel. Yeah, they're all wired. Well, they're wired together. Yep. Yep. So there's one here. And this is why I don't like. It's like this is yeah. all the thermostat wire, but you can make this all neat, but then you have all this nonsense. reinventing the wheel here but let's just get rid of that it looks stupid one I need another way go what size three uh yeah three okay. thank you And the last but not least, okay. You know, if it wasn't for all this, uh, uh oh, what did I do? This is the other. Oh, so this is the thermostat, right? Yeah. So these, this should be a two. This should be a two or four? No, like, so, so this would be the one thermostat that picks this one up and that, and this would be the other thermostat, right? Yeah, but I need to hook this up somewhere. Yeah. Where did it... <clears throat> All right, hold on. Find the common. This goes in. This goes into there. The other side of this is that. Uh, all right, let's, let's figure it out. Huh? <laughs> you got two. Uh, it's two commons. Two thermostats. Uh, uh, two um, transformers. <laughs> one for each. Oh, one for each one. Oh. Yeah. So. So. This one was the one connected to you, or no? This was the one connected to you. This is the one. Yep. All right, so that guy goes back to that one. Then where did that one? Those two are supposed to be by themselves. Which ones? The, uh, this and this. The, these That's two? just for this one. Uh-huh. That's what they did. Okay. That might be why you had heat everywhere. It looks like they had the two transformers so tied two. together. This is where your electrical engineering background comes into, <laughs> comes into play. Actually, I could just use this. Now, here's where I would also be worried, right? Like, so we just said that we've got two transformers, <laughs> and it looks like they had them wired together. Yeah, maybe one's dead. Yeah, that's very possible. Well, let's see what happens. Worst comes to worst, we confer a surprise here. All right, let's turn the thermostats on. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't afford that.